Okay, so here we have some footage of me and John doing some light sparring at Sam's office from over the summer. This was taken a while ago, and I've been sitting on the footage for a while because I really haven't had the time to look at it. So I'm actually kind of interested to see how this goes down. At this point in time, we're only a couple months removed from the tank, and John hasn't really had that much training. So even though, like I said, I don't remember everything because it's been so long, just be nice, all right? Don't, don't expect John to be absolutely the best you've ever seen. So with all that out of the way, let's take a look. And it seems like we're starting in the middle middle of the action right away so you know it's, it's probably going to be fast paced right out the gate let's go ahead and hit play all right so john's got his hands up that's good he tries to throw a couple jabs doesn't quite land that cross to the body from john did land though so i was trying i i know i was definitely trying to time that right that hook wasn't just something i was throwing for no reason i knew john was probably going to end up coming in and uh, I, you know, I was just waiting to see if I could time that hook off him, which, I, you know, it, it happened. But uh, that was, I guess, the end of that round. We're going to go ahead. We're going to see if uh, if it skips straight to the next round or if there's going to be, you know, the, the in-between time. All right, here we are. Start of the round. Touch of gloves. All right, so I'm kind of using a bit of a Philly shell here, right? I, I typically only do that if I feel comfortable or if uh, I feel there's a use for it. You know, so John moving in, I'm just kind of letting him work here. He's really kind of hitting my body. I throw a couple of jabs just to kind of make, I'm trying to make sure he's honest, right? I don't just want him walking in on me and feeling like he can absolutely positively do that. Even though I am trying to be, you know, a, a good partner, a couple of jabs to the head, a few to the body. I think the body one is the only one that landed from me. John throws a jab to the head, doesn't quite land. Hook to the body. It doesn't quite land. It lands on the glove, but it kind of snapped his head a little bit. So John fakes high and then goes low. That, that, that wasn't a bad idea, you know? Jab from John. Jab from me to the body. So kind of fakes high with a jab, goes low. I kind of did the same thing there. So that time I went jab high and then I level changed and I ended up coming with a hook. John ends up level changing into the jab. Couple of punches exchanged there. Again, I'm just kind of jabbing to make sure he's honest, to make sure he knows he can't just absolutely like march into me. Hook cross right down the middle, end up splitting the guard. I don't think I actually hit him though. I think I kind of pulled it. So John with an overhand and then a jab to the body. Hook to the body, followed by a jab that almost landed. So going high, low again. That's one thing John's doing good is he's going high and low and low and high. You know, he's he's using good level changes. I'll say that much. Like right there, he ends up going high with the jab and he ends up scoring a uh, a body a body shot. So, jab to the body lands. Weird little uppercut hook to the body. Uh, you know, I actually remember that point. I actually remember that point. I'm going to talk about that after. Okay, so here's the end of the round, right? I actually, I don't know if it's going to be on video or not, right? Um, let's go right here. He had me. He had me right here. He backed me up into the wall, right? And it, he had an angle on me where I really couldn't do too much, right? And I remember this and I'm like, yo, he should be blasting me in the face right now. I remember thinking that like, oh, like he should be hitting me right now. Why isn't he throwing anything? Um, and I ended up telling him that. I, I don't know if it was directly after this round, but at some point I was like, yo, like you you should have thrown something there because you had me, you know? This this whole round, I'm not saying that John didn't earn anything that he landed on me, but uh, I was kind of sitting here just letting him work, right? Because I'm trying to be as good of a partner as I can. I'm not trying to beat on some dude who's smaller and less experienced than me. Plus me and John are boys, right? Um, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to hurt my boy or make him feel like shitty or anything like that. Right. Um, but like that was a situation where it was like, oh, I was not supposed to let this happen. This is, this is awful for me and he should be capitalizing on this. I'm not saying I, I wanted him to blast me, but you know, he, he could have thrown something. He could have made me pay for the mistake that I allowed to happen. Right. But that happened a little bit before the end of the round. We're going to go ahead. We're going to see what happens in between this one. The face, right? Especially in the West, I've noticed it's kind of a Western thing. Uh, the face is a sacred area, 
right? And I was thinking earlier today, like something ran into my head. I was in high school and I ended up smacking this dude in the face, right? And for some weird reason that ran into my head earlier today, I remembered that I did that. I remember the incident and I was thinking to myself like, man, that was screwed up that I did that. He didn't really do anything to deserve it. I was just kind of being like an asshole, you know, he, he did something to provoke me. Right. But it doesn't mean I needed to touch the dude in the face, you know, especially not with like a slap or something like that. Right. The face is kind of a sacred area. And when you start doing combat sports, you have to kind of learn to ignore that. Right. Um, obviously I wouldn't want someone to punch me in the face. I wouldn't want anyone to punch me anywhere, but especially not the face, right? If somebody hit me in the face, I would be liable to bet, uh, to, to bet, to be a little bit more upset about that than if somebody hit me in the arm or the leg or even, uh, you know, the, the, the stomach, you know, the, the, the midsection in whatever form. Um, but it's just, it's, it's part of the job. You know, in addition to that, people aren't made of glass. That's kind of the other side of it, where uh, even if someone's like, oh, no, it's not that the face is like uh, sacred or anything. It's that I am afraid of hurting people. People are not made of glass. It, it, the human body is a funny thing. It's it's simultaneously um, it's simultaneously very strong, but also kind of weak. And uh, you'd be surprised how much you can actually take. Right. You'd be surprised how many punches to the head you can actually take. And then on the flip side of that is those weird situations where somebody falls out of bed and uh, they end up uh, breaking something. You know, it's 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 funny how the human body is. But I've done enough yapping. Let's let's go ahead and uh, keep going. All right. So next round. Ah, uh, you see, and because. Because I'm going to pause this real quick again, I apologize, but because he said he was, he felt kind of bad about hitting me in the face, I had my hands down and I was kind of letting him just hit me to show like, hey, it's all right. Like there isn't going to be an explosion. Uh, you're not going to hear broken glass and then I fall over or anything like that. You, you, you just hit me in the face. It's no big deal. That's what we're doing right now. But let's keep going. All right. Now my hands are up. Exchanging jabs. Again, jab to the head, cross to the body. That's good from John. I think I might have caught him with that hook. I'm not 100% sure, though. Ooh, that was nice. So he goes high, low, low, and then high. That was good on him. Going high and then low again. Uh, you see, I kind of I kind of used a feint to close distance, but I didn't make him pay for it. I ended up moving out of the way of that as well. A little bit of head movement. So hook, then cross to the body. John going high and then low. So, a couple from John, low, a couple jabs. Again, I'm really just trying to make sure John understands, like, it's not going to be that easy. Like, I'm letting him work. I'm making sure to be a good partner. I'm making sure to be a good coach, right? But I'm also letting him know, hey, I'm also, like, I'm not just a punching bag. Like, right there, I ended up going. I went to the body a little bit. I think it was kind of to send a message, like, hey, I can hit you to the body, and I can hit you kind of hard, too, because I, I was definitely throwing a little bit harder there. I also just tagged him with a hook as well. Which you shouldn't be impressed by this. Nobody should be impressed by this, by the way. I'm not like bragging. I'm just commentating. So he ended up throwing that cross. I slipped and I ended up hitting him with a hook. So nice jab to the, to the head and then hook to the body. He really favors that hook to the body, specifically the rear hook. See, now I'm kind of, again, I'm just trying to keep him honest. I'm trying to let him know like, hey, like I can hit you here and there and here and there. So he ends up, I've... At this point, I've just kind of, see, now that I'm thinking of it, I'm pretty sure at this point, I noticed what seemed to be him picking it up a little bit. And because of that, that's why all of a sudden I'm hitting like head movement. And, uh, you know, I'm trying to keep him a little bit more busy and things like that. Because when you're in confined space like this, not only are we in a small space, we got two dudes right over here that we're trying not to crash into, right? Um, when you're in confined space, it's kind of difficult to run away from somebody, right? If I had all the space that I wanted and needed, I would have been circling. I would have been trying to avoid John a little bit more than I was, but I really had no choice other than to just increase my volume in order to make sure that he was too busy dealing with my punches to start throwing punches at me. Um, I wasn't upset or anything like that. It wasn't like, a, oh, you're going to try and hit me hard type of thing. 
again, it's just trying to keep him honest, right? That's kind of the way that you're supposed to do light sparring is uh, it's not about trying to win. It's not about trying to dominate the other guy or anything like that. It's just about trying to one, get your timing and distance, but two, also help him by being as realistic about things as possible. In a real fight, I'm not just going to allow myself to get hit. And there's multiple ways I can do that. And one of those ways is by basically smothering you, trying to outpace you, throwing more than you throw, throwing before you throw, trying to interrupt you either before or during you throwing, right? Um, but it, it was, it, you know, John's doing good, right? John's doing good. Um, it was a good round, right? All these rounds, I've, I've been good. There's been things that I've liked thus far, and I would assume there's probably at least one more. So we're going to go ahead. We're going we're gonna to keep on going. Touch of the gloves. Oh, yeah, it is the last round. So I throw a hook. John coming in with a jab. Throws a cross. So he's kind of reaching with his punches a little bit. Um, he's got to be careful of that. You know, he's got to keep his legs underneath him and not lean forward. So, cross to the body, I ended up eating it on the arm. So, John's trying to move in to see if he can get me to move. Throwing jabs, trying to keep him honest. John, again, kind of reaching with that cross. He's got to be careful with it. So, I'm using that Philly shell right now. I think partially because he's been going to the body a lot. The Philly shell is very good. Oh, I caught him with a hook on the way in. The Philly shell is very good for defending the body, right? If, if de Depending on how you're using it, you know? So, again, he's kind of got me in this weird spot where I can't move backwards. I'm feeling comfortable, I would assume, right? Which is why I'm sitting here fighting. I'm not, like, that worried about trying to get out. But, you know, John, at this point, should be trying to work his way in. Uh, and here I am working my way out with a few punches of my own. So, John made a fatal mistake there. He ended up turning into the corner. I ended up letting him out, though. Couple of down low from John a second ago as well. I think we're both just sort of tired right now. I'm out of shape, and I don't think John's used to this. A few jabs from me. Jab and then body shot. Again, he's got me in the corner. He should really uh he should I'm not I'm not saying he should tire himself out. I'm not saying he should over pursue, but he he should probably be doing a little bit more than he's doing right now, if if that makes sense. You see, he seems to be kind of moving in a little bit. Yeah, I'm I'm further uh, and here I am jabbing out. So hook, hook to the body ends up getting me in the uh, kidney, basically. Um, all right. So that was cool. Um, you know, it was it was fun to see. Like I said, I really don't remember much about this. As as I watched it, I did start to remember certain things. Uh, certain things just kind of came back to me, including even like things that I was thinking at the time, right? Um, but it was fun to go in semi blind, right, and just see certain things um overall uh, you know I'm, I'm happy with john's performance he like i said it, it was maybe two three months after the tank uh he had been going to muay thai classes i believe for a little while but really he wasn't taking it that serious right and it, it's it's not like he's going uh five six days a week it's something that he's doing because he enjoys it and he just wants to have a little bit of fun with it so um, you know, to see some of the tendencies that he has, some of the positive tendencies that he has after only a couple of months of training, I'm, I'm really happy about that. You know, that's, that's really cool. Um, I hope John keeps training. I hope he keeps it up. I hope he's, uh, if he stopped, I hope he starts again. All right. Bottom line, because you know, he, he could get really good at this. But other than that, that's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and also sub for more. If you have anything to say, leave a comment down below. And if you have any questions for me, hit me up on Instagram, at Scott Sullivan MMA. I love making question and answer videos. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, good luck out there.